What is up? Hopefully you guys are having a wonderful day. Back here with some more Batman Arkham Asylum. And guys, I believe it's been about almost a decade since I last played this game. And this definitely is got to be one of my all-time favorite superhero games. I think Arkham City still is my all-time favorite, but this game isn't too far behind. But way too long since I last played any of these Arkham games. But... Alas, we're not here to talk about Arkham Asylum. We're here to be talking about the Penguin and how it recently just concluded with its series finale. And I was thinking about whether I was going to do a review on the series, but I decided to go in a little bit different direction. But if you want a really quick hindsight of a review, I highly, highly, highly recommend this. I think it really does a real good tone on the mindset of an absolute true villain as well as the surrounding pieces and how one by one they all get knocked off the board i think it does a real good job with the character of oz cobblepot they also like the character of sophia i think both of them really well done and executed victor was also a nice addition to the show they have a lot of good pieces i was always invested in every episode of this show i highly recommend it especially if you like the batman movie I think it's a perfect follow-up and ultimately it's going to lead to Batman 2. But instead of doing a review, which I could have done, I decided to focus on one scene. Because if there's one scene that I think that ultimately defines this show, and why I think it's an excellent show, it's just one scene. And it's a scene that has a little bit of controversy. Not that it's really like a bad scene, not that type of controversy, but controversial because I know a lot of people do not like it and rightfully so it's supposed to be that reaction it's a natural reaction but it's something we should have seen now when it happened i kind of saw it about a minute or two before it actually happened before i realized oh crap i know what's going to happen but my shock was not the fact that you know what went down it was more the fact that they actually did something that I think has been missing from a lot of villain-related, whether TV shows or movies from other mediums, whether they're from other comic book things or just other things in general in media. I think it's an element that's really been missing as of late. Not every single villain-related show or movie, but a lot of them. Because if you don't know me personally, I enjoy probably the villains a little bit more than the heroes. Because in a way, they're kind of the stars of the show. While they may not be the main character... And a lot of times, you know, obviously the hero is, but they're kind of the straw that stirs the drink. They're the thing that starts everything, you know, all the dominoes from eventually falling. And if they're not doing something or causing a problem, we're not probably going to have a very entertaining movie. But obviously spoilers if you have not seen the series. I'm going to be mentioning a lot of spoilers here to fully talk about this scene of events that I'm about to mention. I think really defines this show. So you have been warned. So without further ado, let's get into the scene in question. And what is the scene in question, you may ask? Well, it happened in the season finale. It's basically the scene where Penguin, Oz, and Victor are sitting on a bench talking to each other after they just basically saw what happened to Oz's mom and how she's basically in a vegetable state. And this whole conversation scene, I think, ultimately defines this whole show. What makes it so good, as I said, I'd say about a minute or two into the conversation when it started, I had a feeling of what was going to happen. And when it eventually happened, it was just like, you know, you're like, damn. But it was something I think really just fully fulfills what makes this show so satisfying to me. But it was a very painful moment at the same time. But something we should have seen coming a long time ago. So what happened? Obviously, Oz is talking about, you know, the things with his mother, what he's lost, his family, and Victor starts talking about his family, what he's lost too, and then Oz says, you know, basically, you know, you're like family to me, and that was the ultimate worst thing that could happen for Victor, and ultimately, Oz ends up killing Victor, his most loyal, his most trustworthy, a guy who saved him multiple times, you know, henchman, you know, asset, you could probably think of him, been there since... Episode one with him, he ultimately kills him. And basically saying, you know, you are a good person, you're good at heart, but he had to die, he had to go. Now, a lot of people obviously are very pissed off and they want justice for Victor. I've seen so many people saying they can't wait for Batman to beat the living hell out of Penguin. But here's the thing. Now, as I said, people may be shocked that he did that. I wasn't shocked necessarily that he did that. I was more shocked that the 
the writer team doing a show finally did something that I've been wanting for a long time in these villain related shows. As I said, a lot of these villain related TV shows and movies, they seem to really miss the main point of these villains. And this show does not miss it at all. It hits a grand slam. What is that, you may ask? The Penguin allows the Penguin, in terms of the show, allows the character of the Penguin to be a villain. There is no, you know, oh, he's misunderstood. They don't understand him. He's an anti-hero. He's really not that bad. He just went after the bad people and stuff like that. No, the Penguin is a straight-up villain. He is not some guy that can be redeemed. He's not a guy that has goodness in him. As his mom said, he's the straight-up devil. He is the straight-up devil. He is an evil piece of shit. Even from his early days of the show, um, did a great job of showcasing. This is not a person that you're supposed to be rooting for. In old-school wrestling terms, not newer terms, a lot of People can't figure out the difference nowadays. When you have the heels, the villains, the baby faces, the heroes, the crowds booed the, the heels, you know, the villains. And rightfully so. That was the whole point. You're supposed to boo the heels and cheer the baby face. Nowadays, they mix it up back and forth because they don't know what the heck's the difference. They'll boo the baby faces and cheer the heels. They have no idea what they want to do half the time. But back then, the villains, the heels, they were booed. You know, that was the point. The penguin is not someone you're supposed to be cheering for. He's not someone you're supposed to be thinking, oh, this is great, you know, justice for the penguin. He's going to do whatever it takes to save everyone. The penguin is not saving everyone. He's not giving it. The penguin is a very greedy, self-centered piece of you-know-what. You know, that's what he is. He only cares about himself and his wants, and everyone else is all expendable. And this man will lie, cheat, steal, do whatever he's got to do to get the job done for himself. And it doesn't matter how much you help him, as we found out with poor Victor, you know, he'll, he'll take you out too. Now, some people might be wondering, okay, well, why did he kill him? You know, he won the value asset. And yeah, he was. But Victor, at the same time, he maybe was too valuable of an asset. He, he got too close. You know, he became family to Oz. And Oz can't have that luxury. That's something that you can hold over his head or take advantage of. And that was the point. That's why ultimately he had to put him down himself because he knew someone could use that, you know, luxury against him. You know, they can use him to get to Oz or something like that. Why do you think he, he hit his mom for all these years and lied about it? Because he didn't want anyone to find out. It was something that people could have used to get him. And that's the unfortunate thing with um, Victor. And Victor knew too much, too. He was there from the beginning. And as I said, it, and when he killed him, he said, you know, you're, you're a good man at heart. But unfortunately, that's just... You know, I can't have you being used to get to me or something like that if something were to happen to you. And it's a sad truth. But once again, you know, Victor was warned by his girlfriend that you just don't trust people like this. And while he did enough to be useful, and isn't it? He saved Oz's ass multiple times. He was there for him. He did everything he could to help him out. Oz would never got to where he was without Victor, but that's the unfortunate thing. He's At the end of the day, Oz is a villain. He is not some redeemable figure. He's not some anti-hero. You know, he's not a misunderstood. He's pure evil. I mean, this is the same guys we saw in this show, you know, you know, do what he did to his two brothers when he was young already. You know, he basically killed his two brothers just to get his mom's personal affection because he wanted to do everything to please her. You know, he did not at the end of time. And that was when he was young. You know, he had that from a, a younger days and stuff. And he's willing to do that young with stone cold face and just not caring as long as he got mommy's attention. What is he going to do when he gets older and stuff? As I said, Oz is not a good person. And I love that this show completely encompasses that. This is not someone you're supposed to root for. And as we can obviously see, no, people want him to get his ass whooped. But that's why he's a villain and a very effective villain and i think a lot of people are going to be big time penguin fans maybe not right now in the immediate aftermath because people are saying justice for victor and i understand and get it but i love the fact i think that's a big problem with so many villain related things is they don't let villains be villains it's always they're misunderstood they're i think a lot of the disney movies when they do the disney movies on like um you know they, they got like the, the wicked movie ironically coming out now um you know, oh, well, they're misunderstood or something like that. They had the, 
um, move Fasa movie where you know scars and as bad as it's like no dude, let the villains be the villains I get it some can be technically anti-hero or some can be a misunderstood it's a victim of circumstance you know obviously like you know Sophia was a good example of that you know she wasn't a bad person to start out she just unfortunately was born in a terrible family that eventually broke her to the point where she became a villain because of them or another one probably more famous and that'd be like Mr. Freeze. You know, obviously he wasn't a bad guy, but what happened to the accident that happened to him and his wife basically, you know, one step closer to dying and he's trying to, you know, save her and a company pulls the plug on it. You know, obviously one of the most famous Batman anime series episodes, Heart of Ice, it just goes to show you like that. That's a, a sympathetic villain, but not every single villain is a sympathetic villain. Some villains are just straight up pure evil. And that's, that's Oswald Cobblepot. That's who he is. And this show does, is not shy about it. You're not supposed to be rooting for Oz. Well, you know, you're both. He's basically the biggest monster in the whole show, and you see how all the pieces are basically pitted against each other, and slowly they all just keep taking themselves off the board because of him, and how this crippled, you know, can't really walk too fast man is just slowly just, you know, little by little finding ways to talk himself into a jam, finding ways to talk himself out of a jam, manipulate, and then backstab people. Like he is the ultimate. He's the ultimate definition of a villain. Now, he's pure evil. And I love the fact that the show encompasses that perfectly. And that's why I think this scene, when you see it in the beginning, it basically confirms what we should have known from the very beginning, that Victor was ultimately going to have to die by Oz. Like, he couldn't survive. Because if he did, you know, it'd just be weird because you'd be... It's like the last thing you use to root for Victor. Because, like, you know, or root for Oz, as I say. Because you're like, hey, you know... Victor's not necessarily a bad guy. I mean, he became bad because he was trying to help out Oz. And even when he got his first kill, you know, it felt very sickening to him. It took a lot out of him. And he did a lot for Oz, but you still kind of, you know, rooted for him. Because, like, well, he's not a bad dude. But, unfortunately, he had to steal the car rims of a very bad dude and put himself in, you know, what was actually going to be the highway to hell. And, unfortunately, he had to meet his end. Because he couldn't survive and the penguin still being the penguin given that notion of, oh well he's got a good man a good heart on his side you know we'll still feel a little sympathy for him but nope he just straight up had to take that out and as sad and cruel as that is it had to end that way there was no other way it could go down and i, I love this show it's a painful thing because i like victor but that's just what makes the penguin such a satisfying it, it truly hits you at home you know tv show you know it really does a great job of doing that and i think that whole scene on the bench you know them and they're talking talking about family what they lost how they're similar and then the scene like you know penguin because i said like when he started to get a little bit over emotional about it i'm like thinking something's up here something's not right and then like about a minute or two before it happened i'm like you know what He's going to kill Victor. He, he's going to kill him. I thought he was going to shoot him personally, but, you know, he obviously did probably the more quieter the message is better for him. And it was painful for him to do it too, but he knew he had to do it if he's going to continue to do what he's always going to do. And that is, you know, slowly but surely manipulate and take over. And before anyone realizes it, it's already too late. And as I said, I highly recommend watching a Penguin series. That whole scene does it for me, but you don't really realize it until the very end. Um, as I said, hopefully you guys can see that without being spoiled, because I think it's really done well. But there's a lot of build-up to all the episodes. Of it. As I said, all the episodes, I was fully, you know, into it. I was never, you know, bored or thinking, you know, nothing's going on. The show is an excellent show. And maybe be, might be the start of something more because I heard that they were talking about maybe doing more shows like that with other characters. Um, I wonder what they're going to do with the whole end plot point with um, Sophia and Selena Kyle and their connection. And I'm interested to see how all this leads into the Batman too, because obviously I did enjoy the first film and seeing how this whole, I guess, Matt Reeves Batman universe is expanded. But this has definitely got me really, really excited for the future. But at the end of the day, as I always like to say, that is my opinion. I want to hear your guys' opinion. If you have seen the whole show, what's your opinion on the show as a whole? And what's your opinion about that scene? Do you think it perfectly shows off why these shows with these villains are usually, they fall flat because they never let villains be what they're supposed to be. Plain, pure, evil villains that are not redeemable in the slightest. And that scene perfectly encompasses that by basically eliminating probably 
one of the more nicer and loyal persons who loyal but loyal maybe to a fault and ultimately got way too close for their own good for they realized well it was too little too late but let me know down in the comment section what you all think but that is going to be it hopefully you guys did enjoy this video and hopefully i can see you guys back next one thanks and i'll see you all later peace